All right, guys, welcome to part eight. You've made it to the last part, basically. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the series of watching me build through this piece and explain my process and, and how my mind works when I'm, I'm working through areas of the piece or uh, problem solving, whatever it may be. Um, this is obviously short video. Uh, this is just final touches, more or less, little cleanups, uh, giving the crown a little bit more detail touching up a few areas on the underside of the sleeve where it's in shadow on the armor on the right side of the piece. Um, and then just, like I said, little minute uh, adjustments here and there, nothing really crazy. The piece is pretty much done at this point. Uh, so I wanted to say uh, what I think I'm gonna do is take all these videos that I've put out over the last, what, um, seven weeks, eight weeks, something like that, and I'm gonna try and compress them down into one giant time-lapse speed painting, and I'll, I'll put music with it. So if you guys are interested in just watching the piece from beginning, start to be, blah, from beginning to end with some music and just watching it all come together at once, I think I'm gonna probably try and do that for next Monday. We'll see how that goes. Um, but again, I really hope you've enjoyed this. I hope this helped you in some manner. I hope you were able to learn something from me, or if it was just enjoyable to watch the process and hear my explanation as to how I tackle my creative solutions throughout my work. Um, this is a really fun piece to work on, honestly. I wasn't expecting it to turn out this way. And I mean that in a good way. When when you go into these, when I go into these pieces, I have a certain image in my head of how I want them to turn out. And nine times out of 10, they either go the way I'm expecting or the way I'm not expecting. And, and that can be both bad and good at the same time. I think as creatives, we all struggle with the idea of our, our visualization of our piece in our head, and then we expect it to turn out how we see it in our head. But at the end of the day, uh, visual, visualization to actual uh, creation on canvas is definitely a challenging and difficult task. And it leaves a lot to sometimes be desired, but nine times out of 10, the piece usually turns out better because it gives us a chance to try things and explore new concepts and just kind of experiment more or less. Um, and that's this piece had, I did that a lot with this piece. It, it gave me the ability to focus on, on trying new things and making sure my work is a little more grounded. And I, I really pushed for atmosphere and I really wanted it to be a colorful piece, but not like overly powerful. And I really wanted to focus on certain uh, certain areas that I struggle with like making sure some areas have a lot of detail and other areas just kind of fall into shadow and they're left like unkept so to speak So I was like my focus with this piece and I'm honestly I'm really happy with it uh, I really like how it turned out are there things I do different next time probably um, I think I do a little bit more planning if I could just learning looking back on this piece uh, It's definitely fun to kind of improvise and I'm, I, I definitely shine in that direction when it comes to working on my own work It's kind of improvisation and I have an, a one idea of how I want the piece to turn out and then the piece goes in a different direction and I'm like, you know, this is okay. It reads really nicely and, and I'm just gonna go with it. But definitely in the future, I wanna try and plan things out a little more and, and sort of stick to the plan. But all in all, I'm really happy with how this piece turned out. I think it was a great learning lesson. I had, to, I had a fun time to experiment with color. I had a really fun time messing with armor and just different surfaces. I don't normally paint armor. I don't normally paint chains and like leather and stuff like that. So, and, and to also mess with like clothing, don't normally do that either. So it was really, really an, uh, an all around experiment to get myself out of my comfort zone and learn and, and play with atmosphere and color and textures. So overall 10 out of 10. Um, yeah, and I'm honestly looking forward to uh, sharing the next piece with you guys. Uh, I'm just trying to decide the format in which I want to share it. I don't know if I want to do it this way, where I upload one part each week, or if I want to just kind of mush it all together and then talk over like the 30 minute piece. Um, we'll see. I'll try and figure it out over the next coming weeks. And I'll definitely, uh, I would say keep you guys in the loop, but I, you know, whatever happens, happens. Um, this, this whole art channel is just basically kind of my haven, my safe place to post my work and, and however I choose or however I see fit to post it. So. Hopefully you find stuff on this channel that suits you and, and interests you and you maybe teaches you a little if possible. Um, otherwise, it's just I hope you find stuff that it's just fun to watch. So um, there's about what 30 seconds left in this. Um, again, I'm, I'm at the end of the piece right here, just touching up minor details. But anyway, um, if you guys enjoy this series, please be sure to check out the whole series if you're just popping in for this video. Uh, leave a like, a comment subscribe it's free i try and post every monday that's i'm gonna try and keep that up we'll see what happens and uh i hope you guys have a great rest of your week and and i appreciate you sticking around and hanging out with me and uh yeah i'll see you guys later bye